Okay, here we have the uh, Robbie glove. Remember the scan that I did? You remember back up here, started with the latex glove, Robbie glove. Did a scan of it, which didn't turn out looking all that great, but at least it was uh, representative of the correct scale and everything. Well, I put those files up on Thingiverse, and then a, uh, I guess a Thing user by the name Z A R I O R, Zarior. Anyway, let's just call him Dan. Dan took the file and um, cleaned it up, as you can see here, and then put the details back in, because I could have smoothed it, but as soon as you electronically smooth it, you lose the details. But I think he used uh, Blender. I can't remember which uh, program he used. And uh, put the details back in. And these two are printed in PLA. They're hollow. The base helps it stick uh, to your bed while you're printing it. His, see the one that he did didn't have the uh, the wrist ring. This mounts when when Robbie's glove is slipped in. That's what mounts up against his wrist piece. So it kind of needs to be there. Plus, I wanted a perfectly round base so that it could fit into a wrist. So I took his cleaned up version and uh, added the bead, added the wrist part to it, and then tried uh, to do it in. Uh, all I had was some old TPU, about four years old. I couldn't really get the settings quite right to keep it from dripping and oozing a little bit. I'd have to fool with it some more. But you can put it on as a glove, and the TPU isn't super flexible. I mean, Ninja Flex would be a lot more flexible. But it is flexible. Did both the, uh, the left and the, and the right one. Tried it at different speeds and different settings on this old TPU that I had. I think uh, this one was done at about uh, at normal PLA speeds and about 140 C on the temperature. And this one was done at uh, a standard Prusa setting for generic flexible filament, so it was going real slow, maybe 30 millimeters per minute and. Uh, Temperature, I, I moved it down to about 220 to see if that would, would help at all. But I still ended up with some of the oozing and some of the dripping. But the files themselves are good, as can be seen in the, in the print quality of the PLA ones. So it just comes down to being able to tweak in whatever flexible filament you want to use to make these. And like I say, the, this TPU wasn't super flexible. It is flexible, but nothing like Ninja Flex. And I just didn't have enough Ninja Flex laying around to uh, attempt to do it. The wall thickness is set at uh, 1.2 millimeters. And down here on this wrist piece, I made that thicker. This is about 2 millimeters thick. And again, it'll have a, it'll have a fill piece when it prints. Like this. As part of it. Right on the bottom. So after the part's done, you just cut this out. But this will help secure that to the bed so you don't have to worry about it breaking loose while you're printing the item. But uh, there you go. The new and improved uh, Robbie gloves to scale and based on the actual glove as seen in the movie.